Hey, thanks so much for coming back. Let's talk about keywords. Keywords are a special set of words that are used for developing inspiration for your design that can be referred back to as a set of aesthetic guidelines. They'll not only help inform the design, but will also help inform what sort of shapes you draw and what forms you imply when you're doing concept design. Think about these as sort of metaphors from the gut. If I showed you this list of words, you'd likely think about dogs. If I showed you a list that read, you'd likely think about flowers. Keywords bridge the connection between our understanding about the world around us and the concepts we use to describe it. Keywords are sort of the guiding light that define our biases. Associating with certain keywords will associate your project with certain natural biases. If you're designing against a problem that is fairly utilitarian, such as putting up a system of shelves in your garage, you're likely not going to need to develop keywords when doing so. They're meant for more projects that have to have a certain visual language built in. Think about it as anything that needs to have essence needs to have keywords to create consistency and uniformity. For our example, we use an imaginary product such as a utility knife for an unlikely brand. The idea is to spend a set interval of time and then come up with as many words as possible that will set the stage for expectation about what the knife should look like at the end. If we were to pick words like bubbly and playful, that would probably yield a design much different than a knife that was driven by words such as kinetic or fierce. If you're doing a project with a brand, this is a great place to start for brainstorming what your list of words might be. If the brand was craftsman, you might use words like work or rugged, or if the brand was DeWalt, you might use reliable and substantial. In this example, knowing the brand is critical to extracting the words. You'd never likely hear someone call a brand that makes bolts or PVC pipes thrilling or playful. After a preset amount of time, I usually brainstorm on keywords for about 25 to 30 minutes max. I'll put down my pencil and look for words that cluster together. Going back to the utility knife idea, here are 30 words I came up with while brainstorming a utility knife if it was for the electronics brand Logitech. Next up, I'll distill this down. The point of this exercise is to see if there are patterns that can be extracted that expose an inherent truth based on our assumptions and emotional understanding of the brand and the final outcome we are trying to develop. Words like diamond, crystal, and facet work together as a single group, so I can cluster those together. Once I've clustered all the words together, I can go ahead and mark the words in each cluster that seem to resonate the most true of that cluster as it relates to the brand. This might mean that the word diamond might fit better than crystal or facet, so we chose one word per cluster until we have about five to seven words that are driving our design forward. In this case, I'd probably choose diamond, human, speed, force, and stealth. You could just jump into finding inspiration images that work to inform the design, but the psychology of using words versus images creates visuals in your own mind that are informed without any sort of external visual influence. Therefore, you'll expose your own biases and assumptions early on. While these assumptions might lead you down a wrong path at a certain point, it's better to hit those walls sooner rather than later. For instance, if I chose the word pearlescent early on, I'd see that for some reason that doesn't seem to fit with everything else and then I'd know I shouldn't go down that path of design. I'm saving myself time, energy, and even money by exposing these sorts of walls sooner. Then when I search later for inspiration images, they will better represent and influence the final form that much more clearly. So to recap, brainstorm 30 words that represent your ideas of the brand and the final outcome. Cluster those words that are similar and distill the best representative word from each cluster. Use these words to inform the design choices and direction of the project. Use these same keywords to inform everything else about the project so you have a uniform feel. Use them again in marketing videos and inform the way you go about shooting your product. This will make the spirit of whatever you create consistent. Send me some of your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think of keywords as a way to help better inform your design. Thanks so much. See you next time.